Hi, Cizrin here with another video for the Sanctum League, and this is about the Sanctum itself. I saw some people are struggling a little bit with getting through the Sanctum. I wanted to make like a tips and tricks video, and this is actually going to be a full walkthrough of each floor, each room of the Sanctum. So it might end up being a bit of a longer video. I'll do one floor at a time while recording and walk you through every step of the way and my thought process, and basically like how and why I decide each one. So far, I've failed three temples, and after that, succeeded each one. I think I'm on seven completed temples right now. So hopefully this helps you in the uh, Sanctum mechanic. So we're in Sanctum now. I've saved up eight rooms and I'm in my ninth. So that means I can finish this and do two rooms into the next one. So I don't know if there's something that'll force me to fail no matter what, but obviously I'm also playing a very strong build for this. Honestly, Elementalist EA with like, if you have the chill node is probably the best thing for this because then you chill and you do damage from a distance. Uh, chill is very strong. If you don't have chill in your build, consider losing a defensive aura and then use Skitter Boss with Unbound Ailments. That'll give you a 20-22% chill or something like that. Okay, so now we're going to look at what the rooms are. And it's not just important to look at the next room, but also the next one after that. Because sometimes, uh, like for example, if I take this one, I'm forced to do this one. So there are some things that I avoid no matter what. Ideally avoid Black Smoke. I also don't want to do Deceptive Mirror because that puts me into a room. So here I'm not looking at the reward, I'm looking at the downside. And here, traps are faster, that should be fine. So I'm going to go to that one now. And then this is defeat all the guards. So that means that you only have to kill every unique. And the number one thing I focus on is not taking resolve damage. So moving is the number one thing. You'll see this build is very, very great for that because I can very easily throw down damage while moving. Um, I also realized I didn't show my relics, which I kind of forgot about. Uh, the relics that I have activated is basically... I think I have like three or four with maximum resolve, so I start with a little more. Oh, room's complete. And then um, I think I have like one or two with coins at the start. But I don't have any really good ones yet. Let's see. Here, um, I'll probably go to the fusings. Like, I do usually, if this is good, always go for the completing the Sanctum reward. Just because I'm completely, um, very consistently completing the Sanctum now. So now we have to do this. And then... We'll go for the major treasure reward after. We want to set ourselves. I like being at around 1,000 coins when I can. Oh. And yeah, dodging is by far the most important thing. Uh, they're very, very telegraphed monsters. And then I... Oh. I try to make a lot of circles. And you'll notice that I try very, very, very rarely, uh, rarely to backtrack. Because backtracking is, uh, well, that's actually how I died. So my last character actually died in Sanctum. Can't happen anymore. It has already been fixed. Some monsters were dealing, instead of dealing the appropriate resolve damage, they were doing an insane amount of normal health damage. So one monster in a 76 area just one-shot me. Um, this is also a little bit tankier than what my character is used to. Because this is in a 81 area. You can see that I'm trying to make circles around the monsters. And that's where the chill like really comes in. I think most of my areas are like 76. Um, I don't need alchemies. I do want fusings. So like I said, I'm now going to go for the major treasure. We want to get a lot of coins. It is very, very nice. Like, runs are... Ooh, nice. This one's free. So, this basically just starts, like, putting down um, circles on the ground. And by the time you've damaged quite a lot of them... Ow, one of them actually hit me. Uh, oh, wow. That was very hard to dodge. Ah! Wait, which one did I leave? Oh, no. Is this one? Okay, normally only does like one big blast. Ah, what the? I tasted less damage than I thought. Ah, 
Alright. This one is pretty hard. That's the only time I've struggled with him. But like normally, I should have cold snapped each one. That would have killed him. But uh, it gets harder the more that are damaged, basically. Again, this build's pretty great for that. EA is pretty great for that. And if you are playing something like Flicker Strike or something, might I suggest maybe not playing the build equivalent of Jesus Take the Wheel for a dodging mechanic. Minor treasure, minor treasure, items on completion. Chests no longer drop Aria's coins. Concealed Anomaly is pretty good. Then we're going to go for the Volatile one. I think that one's pretty good. We could go for the Monsters Always Knockback. Because I'm not getting hit anyway most of the time. Knockback actually sounds pretty okay to deal with. So here's find the exit. These are super easy. And eventually you will start... Oh. Eventually you will start like learning the layout. And then you can literally just run straight to it. Uh, on floor 3, the uh, exit ones are super, super easy. There are so small maps. There. Yeah, we'll go for the knockback one. Is I want the Accursed Pact. They sometimes have really, really good stuff. I usually very early take a lot of like lose 50%. I found... Oh yeah, now you can see how... Oh, I think the, the boss was like a lot higher level than I'm used to. Because I'm uh, pretty low damage right now. I think I only have like three or 400k. Um, you know, most people will have an easier time killing the guards faster. So that hardly is why the boss took so long to die. Yeah, I, I don't always bother taking all the caches because these are so small. I wish there were a bit more stuff in them. There. Yeah. And now we're already sitting at over a thousand coins. That's very nice this early. Very, very nice. We're gonna go for a cursed pack. I obviously don't need the fountain. And then we're gonna fight our first boss, Firecast. He is incredibly easy. And um, a lot of the monsters just die before they can do anything, really. There. And I, as you can see, the layout was the same as last time. Very, very easy to get to. Um... Remove Rusty Mallet. Lose 50% maximum roll, but only two minor boons. Um, I'm going to go for the minor boons and lose 50% resolve. I'm I'm pr pretty okay with that. You stare there. The abyss, and, the abyss stares back. and then, let's see, what did we get? Ooh! We got plus 200 maximum resolve and 25% reduced impact. So that was pretty worth it. I'll take the three Chaos Orbs right now. I want Chaos for the map device. Anyway, we're going to go Varaket the Waxen. And this should be incredibly easy. He's in a 71 zone. He's going to die very fast. I'll just throw a curse on him. And I could have even more damage by having two curses right now. There. Just run around in a circle. See what the offers are. Uh, yeah, nine fusings at the end of Sanctum, and six chaos at the end of Sanctum. Sanctum offers, we got 12 fusings. Sorry. Right, and now we have a merchant here. 50% less Aureus coins found. That is pretty tempting. It has a major treasure in front of it too, so I'm gonna have around 1,600, and then I'll find less after that. Volatile Anomaly, this is fine too as a downside. Uh, afflictions are unknown on Sanctum Map. I never ever take this. I think purple smoke and red smoke, most of the smoke ones are awful. Defeat all the guards. There's one that flicker strikes on top of you that's kind of annoying. But do remember that these always like target where you were. Oh, they're, they're not too bad. Oh no. I touched. That's two resolve. Uh, one of my favorite boon things. Oh no. Oh, I didn't get hit. Nice. One of my favorite boon things that I've gotten is um, 200 inspiration. 200 inspiration at the start of each floor. I really, really like that. Inspiration is the same as resolve, except that it can't be recovered with the mechanic like recover 50% of your resolve. So. 
You can basically get like, if you get it early, it's 600, basically. We have one more room we can do, and then we're going to take the merchant. Then we get a Radiant Fountain next. It's like a big buff. Very, very worth it. This would be nice too, because we see that this is probably going to be between 10 and 20 Chaos Orbs, depending on the level of the map. But we are going to go for the merchant because I have so many coins and uh, recovering my resolve would be really nice. So this is just run in a circle and you can bait out that so you can see that it obviously fires where I was. Oh no. We still haven't been hit yet. But yeah, you just run in circles. This is where obviously oh, damage over time skills or things like brands, totems have such an easier time in this league mechanic. Oh god. That is the one that got nerfed, that killed me the first time. There's a lot less normal damage now. Um, so we took a total of like 10 or 9. 9 resolve damage there and now we get Divinia. We meet again. Right, we're going to look. Monster steal 40% less damage. Aureus coins found on this floor is doubled. 23 maximum resolve when you use a fountain as a relic. Um, I think I will buy that relic. Serve you well. I quite like that. It's a little big. I didn't know it was that big. I'll recover the resolve. I think I'll just buy the monster steal less damage. And then uh, we are going to continue uh, when I have saved up another eight. Right. Okay. So now we're back. We have radiant fountain or afflicted fountain. I'm going to go for the radiant. Then we're guaranteed minor treasure after. Really look at what room it is because I'm going to do it no matter what. Beat all the guards. I just need a moment to catch my breath. Oh, yeah, I don't think I got hit by anything there. Oh. oh, I think we're good. 312. We have a max of 377. Radiant Fountain, gain a random boon, cleanse a random affliction. Uh, so ideally we want to cleanse the 50% less Aureus coins. That's what we cleansed. And monsters have 30% reduced max life. So this is shaping up to be a really, really good run. So we're going to go with Red Smoke. This removes the name Derly Cavern. So you can't avoid like the, the double skull one. Um, so it's a little bit annoying. But I don't want to lose all my Oreos coins. Uh, this one is pretty easy. I don't always run straight to it on this one. Probably the hardest to find the exit floor. Oh no. Oh, I didn't get hit. It's either like bottom left, straight below you, or right above you. Here, we're getting a bunch of coins. <laughs> Defeat all the guards. Obviously, this thing, Miyani, really does favor glass cannons. The ones you have, like, uh oh. Once you have crazy damage, yeah, it's going to be even easier. Uh, we'll take nine Sacrifice fusings today. at the end of the Sanctum. Uh, now we're going to go for the Cursed Pact here. And then we can go Benevolent Fountain after. At the moment we have three downsides, four upsides. So the, the number one thing, I've seen a lot of people, some people have... Um... Oh. Oh. I've seen some people have, uh, one sec. Some people have literally like 20, 30 downsides. And that looks hectic. All right, that was pretty smooth room. Cursed Pact, gain dark pit, traps, impact, or is on this floor? No. Engraved orb, 100% increased resolve. Mm. I mean, this one's okay. 
What I lose? Traps are faster. Oh, 250 inspiration. Monsters inflict resolve weakness. I thought it was traps are faster. So the reason that I clicked that was to get these rewards. Um, it wasn't anything good, but you can't take them. Now we go for Benevolent Fountain. And then we have to kill the... Um... Oh. oh, that counts as a trap. Wow, that's fast. We have 241, 200 at the start. Oh no. Oh, I didn't get hit. That thing, the, the cold mage, was actually the first thing that ended my first run. And uh, the second thing that ended my run was the double skulls. The first time I got to the double skull room. Ooh! 50% more Aureus coins. And then now we're going to fight the Dark Souls boss. I always kill the left one first. I feel like the AoE abilities on the right one are a lot worse. Ooh, this is a global relic. So this will affect my character outside. So this could be something really, really big like max res or onslaught effect. But uh, it could also be something boring like mana regen. Oh, 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 that is so big. So this is my third or fourth one. Um, and the first one that's actually really, really good for me. So this is huge. This is huge. Oh, that is so nice. Right. Uh, we have a merchant here and we do have 870. So I'm pretty okay with that. And then we have more major treasures after. So that's a no brainer. We're going to go for the merchant. And then the third floor. Uh, oh, this is the worst room. I can't remember what it's called. Oh, God. Oh, God. I've never done this with faster traps before. Oh, this is awful with faster traps. Okay, I have to fix my strategy a little bit. Oh god. Oh god. I just gotta kill them fast. Oh. My god. This room is annoying. Kinda wish I had Blink Carol. Anyway, we have Davinia now. Hello, Exile. Ooh. You can see one additional room ahead. That's Kind of nice. I really want the thingy there. Reduced action speeds. Really nice. Yeah. So that room is called Infernum. You really want to avoid that. Let's see. I can also recover 50. Right? Yeah. I could recover 50. I think we go Harefoot. I really like that. I really want this. Good luck. And then we gain 50 resolve. May you return that is the nicest ones, I think. Uh, and now we're going to for more major treasures. Now, none of these rooms matter. They both take me to this room. So we don't have the name of the room. It doesn't matter. This is an exit one. So this is the easiest one. It's just right over here. And you just leave. Very, very fast. Very, very nice amount of Aureus coins. We have one more I can do, I believe. Um, loose all Aureus. So I'm going to go for the second one. Because I'll just knock the hit. The number one thing you can do. Oh, no. Just need a moment to catch oh no, wait. Oh no, I stood in it. I thought that was an enemy spawning.
You just have to try to like bait them out where they're shooting. Oh god, dude. And blink past it. Oh my god, what a terrible room. What a terrible room. Alright, um, I think that's the last one we can do now. And then, ooh, that's a hard one. I'm very low on scours, but I think I'm going to do that for the map device. Right, so we're back in here the third time, and we have enough rooms to get to the end. We have nine stored, basically. We're going to go for this one. We will lose coins when I get hit by result, but we get uh, a merchant. We're probably going to go for the benevolent fountain, because I only have 200. We only have 200. Oh. Oh, that's a little annoying with the increased speed. Oh no, that was so bad. Right, anyway, that's fine. Increased speed's really annoying. Uh, four chaos at the end of the floor. Don't need alchemies for anything. Um, alright, let's see. What is next? Probably go for the bottom one. Defeat all the guards. Oh no. I think I hit again. I'm really trying to avoid being hit entirely. I've had some runs, at least without faster traps, like that one honestly makes it so much harder to get hit. But I've had some runs where I've gone as low as uh, very early, um, getting my max resolve down to 70 and still finish the runs. Because I do um, several times where I do like the, you lose max 50% of your max resolve. Okay, that's kind of useless. And then now we take this one, unless I actually have to take Deceptive Mirror. I'm forced. I, I'm, I'm not taking no chill on a chill build. Oh, I actually could have done, and I could have, um... Could have done... Oh, I, I just misclicked. That was stupid. We'll do the Deceptive Mirror. Maybe I can get rid of it. There's only one floor left, so... Three divine vessels. I don't need divine vessels, I think. Alright, and then we are going to fight the boss. This is arguably the hardest one. You have invoked the uh, no, if you have Ellie Focus, you can't chill. That's why I don't put it on everything in this build. Out. Nice. No relic though. I think I only took 20 damage, which isn't the end of the world. The chill really helps a lot. She's the hardest one as well. She's the only one I've lost a lot for. A sacrifice today um. is a blessing. Tomorrow, a future Whoa. is bright for those who wait. And then we have four left, so we only need another four more to get to the end. Um, merchant isn't that good now, but we could get the Benevolent Fountain with Spike Shell. Maybe we take that one. Now, did it give me the one I want is the great question. Oh, no. Flashbacks. That's the thing that killed me, too. Hopefully they won't kill me anymore. If your flame dash being instant makes this room a lot better. All done. But yeah. 
At higher levels, pretty scary. Aura's coins when you complete a room. It's not a terrible one. We meet again, explorer. Uh, I have nothing. Wow. Wow, I really wish I had 500. That, that one, this, wow, that's so insane. I really wish I had 500. That is the craziest relic I've seen so far. Wow, I'm so sad. Uh, we'll go for the Benevolent Fountain. I think he gave us the correct room. Uh, let's see. I need to actually pick up coins during this. Just need a moment to catch my Even though it's find the exit. I need 50. Oh, but we have less drops. I don't know if I can get enough. I can try. Eight. Maybe if we kill every unique. We're getting there. There there might be enough. If there's two more hidden chests down here. Those are really annoying. We got a little bit there. Oh, yeah. I think we... No, wait, what? Oh, no. I lost coins from something hitting me. Devastating. Damn. If I hadn't gotten hit. Or if I didn't have that boon. Uh, okay. Then we don't really have enough for the merchant. Reduced effect of your relics to 50% increased merchant prices, so that's fine. We'll go for that one. None of those are super bad for our run. And we'll just speed run through this. Eight chaos at the end of Sanctum. 16C, 12 fusings. I feel like I should have had more. Alright, um, unknown encounter, reduced effect of your relics. Afflictions are unknown. We get a benevolent fountain. Afflicted fountain. I mean, there's not that many. There's max two, so I'm actually going to go for that just because it's max two. And then hope that the only thing I would be bad to get would be the reduction in action speed. That could be potentially run ending. Anything else should be very okay, to be honest. I don't like those things. I'm like mostly managing to avoid getting hit. Room complete. Then we have to go get more. Not too many more, though. Right, now we're back. We have the last four rooms. Three saved, plus the one I'm in. So we're going to do Benevolent Fountain. And then here, we're going to hope that there's no affliction. Um, then we have a decent amount of... They defeat all the guards. We're so zoomy as well. Oh, I got hit. Two hundred and six inspiration. Seventy three area, so at least it's not super high. Running in circles is like the best thing. One more guard down here. Easy. No loss incurred. Not that I need the coins. I'm probably not going to get a merchant. Uh, gain a round of boon. The next 10 guards you kill are hit instantly. That's honestly pretty nice now at the end. Um, we are just going to go for this. 
And then we'll probably go for the fountain, just in case we do incur any damage. Find the exit. And we just speed run through here. Easy. Hello. Let me click you. Um, so I've heard there's a bug with taking things at the end of this floor. So I don't want to risk that. Well, I could take the regals. We don't have that many regals. That seemed to not fuck me up. And then... I don't really need wild orbs. So we'll go for the fountain just in case I take damage in whatever this is. Oh, nice. Oh, I hit by one. Ooh. Oh, I got hit by two. No. And that's just my inspiration. Okay, that was embarrassing. Um, I don't have coins to get the reward. They're annoying to click. For sure, while herbs at the end of Sanctum. And then boom, unknown encounter. What level area is she? 73. Uh. I will rend your flesh asunder. Oh no. Okay, she's done. She's now gonna remove the traps. Playing with fire. Well, not remove the traps, but There, all right. Now we're pretty much done. I, you you I like that she starts with that. She's shutting burst her down before she's done. Then she does one slash. And we're done. But I need more from you. Return, when you are stronger. Return when you are stronger. Okay, we didn't get a global relic. Um, I, need a moment to catch my I know you need item. I don't know if you can get unique with this low item level. Bunch of chaos. And that's a pretty low level run as well. So I think it gets different at higher level runs. Once I'm doing like 83 pyramids, I might make a new one. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, video. Let me know in the comments down below if it helped. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, try to die less than I do. Oh, and sub if you liked the video.